Good morning. Good morning. Hope everybody's doing great. Lucy, you got some good things to show us today? Uh, <laughs> Lucy was like, shot like, what she asked me? Of course yeah. you do. Of course you do. The answer is yes, sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll go to Half Price uh, Senior Day today and see if I can find some new stuff. Not that I need anything. I've got lots, but maybe just pull something new to add into. Yeah. And we can sell some of this other stuff. We can make room for more. Good morning to everybody coming in. We appreciate it. I'm trying to load up my chat okay. now. Good morning. Sorry. All right. It's okay. We'll give it a minute till somebody can remember it's 10 o'clock and that they want to have coffee or tea or whatever with us, Diet Coke, whatever their favorite flavor is with us this morning. Good morning. Okay. And I'm starting to get crowded around here. I need to get a little bit better organized, a lot better organized. Girl, even with my organizational skills, I wanted to make a meme of all the boxes <laughs> in my dad's living room that says, says, when it's the fifth and everybody's asking you to hold their orders for the end of the month because there's like 20 boxes sitting on the floor in my dad's living room. Yeah, mine's going to the post office today too. Good morning, Caroline. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, good morning. This morning, Stephanie, I wish you could be on with us every morning. She says, I got them. And everyone else coming. She's got those children and husband and a life. I understand. I totally do. I can still wish it. <laughs> I don't understand, Stephanie. I don't know what it's like. But I can, I can, uh, I can sympathize, but I can't empathize. Is that the right thing? <laughs> <laughs> the big good you. Did you get her invite? I did. We're going to be on her channel tonight. If you're not subscribed to Thrifting Adventures, better go subscribe so you're going to miss us tonight. How many away are you from your next milestone, Stephanie? Hey, Stephanie? Yeah. She's got to be close. Y'all go and subscribe. And to Lucid too. Subscribe to Lucid because we got to get them, those numbers up there for them. Subscribe to Teresa. I'm sorry. Okay. I appreciate She's it. So close to subscribers. I'm going to drop her link even though nobody's really interested. I'll just keep dropping it and say go subscribe. That's what I'm going to write after the link. Go subscribe. Subscribe. We're getting you to 2000 somehow. <laughs> oh, Stephanie, yay. We're going to get you past the 600 mark, too. Put yours in there. Well, yours is in the description, but you can still put it in the chat. See for people to click on the link. I know to find me. Okay. When she drops that, we'll get her up here to selling. Oh, I'm not even to 500. I'm at 453. I thought I was almost to 600. Shout me. At least my brain. I thought you were too. Well, we'll get you there. We'll get you to 1,000. Y'all tell me y'all know. Oh, great. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, she's already putting me big. Good hey, morning, guys. everybody. I'm sitting here I yawning. I did. Okay, okay. It's morning. It's Tuesday morning. Come on. All right, all right, all right. Um, I don't know where to start. I have so many things. Okay, how about... How about we start with this little box for pills, and it's black and white, and it has little flowers. Or you could put your Tic Tacs in there. Or... Mm -hmm. you know, use your imagination 
and right. it's kind of worn underneath the tray but you know that's why it has a tray and then it's got this attachment up here probably because it's worn underneath and they wanted it to be pretty and here's the back it has the remnants of a sticker and this is just going to be $6 if anybody's interested. I collect these little boxes. I don't know why. All the ladies used to have them in their purses or on their little, you know, dresser back in the day. They even have this yeah, lipstick. They have, little box. they have a lipstick thing at the place by my house, the flea market. And every time I look at it and I'm like, I want this, but I don't even wear lipstick. You have That's Stephanie it. in for it for six and good morning, Heather. I miss you so oh, much. Oh, Glad to see you on here. Stephanie. And your package is off and selling that I got it mailed off early this morning. Send you the info later. Okay. Package. <clears throat> I was going to say, close your eyes. Oh. <laughs> 1994 and Lisa Frank wants her keychain back. Lisa Frank, I love her. These are those high dollar keychains. There, <laughs> it's got a wooden surfboard, a tad bit of paint loss on the very tip there where his board hit that dolphin in the water. Oh no! And so it's got orange and pink and yellow and green. And it's four dollars, and I think you would look cool at school with this. Right, you yeah. There you go. Is attached your keys to it. Four dollars for Lisa Frank. Sick. It does not say Lisa Frank. I'm just making that up. But here, oh, Lisa Frank here. S for sure. Yes. You got and Stephanie for your little box. Thank you. Okay, no, Y'all want Lisa Frank's keychain? Let me know. You're welcome, Heather. No problem. All right. Now, let me see where I, since I was shopping looking at hers, I'm forgetting I got to show something. I have this little Christmas boot. I'm going to start right on off with Christmas in July. And it is, it has that, um, <clears throat> what is that felt, velvety? felt feeling that all the oh. Christmas stuff has in it. Is it what's it called? Anyway, it's not is it flocked feeling? Yeah. And then the little fur. You could put, you know, candy canes or whatever you wanted to in it um for Christmas. You know, you could put a uh a ring in if you wanted to. Hint hint somebody. Jonathan. <laughs> he's, he's still asleep. It's about five. Oh man. But or you could push this down in here and put something in it this way too. Anyway, it's about five inches tall with the netting, and it's going to be three dollars. Okay, and then we'll move right on over here to some. I only have three of these little brass key ring um, napkin ring holders. I mean, but you could maybe set them like this and put your stones on them. Or you could get creative. You could pull back curtains with them. You know, you don't. Or if you just have two uh, sitting at your table, you'd have an extra. But and so I'm just going to do the three of them for three dollars. That brass. This one still has its little tag on it. It just says thin cut out brass made in India. So I know on, on eBay, this goes for pretty good. If you want to resell, you could always, you know, do whatever. So I have the $3 brass napkin ring holders or the $3 little Christmas boot. And I thank you. And y'all be patient with me. Remember, it's my turn to move stuff around, day. Eh? All right. Um, I have this little vintage clown. And he's a bank. And he's in yellow, and he's happy, and he's not scary. He's a happy clown. And he's shooting you the deuce, the peace sign. He's like, hey. And then on the back side, <laughs> he has a coin slot. And he's missing a stopper. I do have one with a stopper. I don't know where he went. He must have ran away. And this guy, how about we do $6 for him? He's adorable. He's like old. 
looking guy. He's I have really gotten into banks lately. I'm finding banks everywhere. I always loved them as a child. And I'm just banks? finding them everywhere. The nostalgia of it is just amazing. And then I got this really cool box, and I'm pretty sure it's handmade. It's got these deco-looking um, hinges on the back, and it's very pretty wood. It does have a place for, like, a key in the front, and it has a lock mechanism, but it doesn't have the key, so I'm not sure um, if it would fit any size one. It looks like the old-timey keys. I don't know can't really show you the keyhole i guess anyway it's 15 dollars. it's a handmade box it's in pretty good condition um and i like it a lot and maybe you will too and that's my two and i thank you oh i thought that was your first i'm sorry that's okay i had the clown bank oh yeah you did i'm just not paying attention i'm enjoying shopping with you <laughs> I have this milk hen on the nest. It does say something on the bottom. Let's, let me remember. Oh, Avon. I remember now it says Avon. I have it for $10. It is a more a heavier glass. And who was it that always made the Avon? We discovered that on the back, but I forget. And they would make the milk glass, especially for Avon. The, oh. The jade eyed or different. We discovered that, and I forget now. Shame on me. I can't remember either. Perfect condition. $10. Okay, and then I have this vintage oil and vinegar curette. Does have its little glass stopper. Um, it doesn't have any markings that I can see. I washed it up. It was kind of dirty. So, And I'll do it for $5. That's pretty. I love Cruets. I do too. I only had this one in this. But, and back in the day, we always had it on the table with some kind of dressing in it. It might be Mama's Homemade Thousand Island or it might be oil and vinegar, but there was always one on the table. Pretty much every meal we had one. I would love to go back to those days where you sit around at the table with all the food in the middle and kind of pass it around. You know, I'm dreaming. I should have been born in a different era. But I yeah. thank y'all. Um, how much was your crew at? I'm sorry. Five dollars. Five dollars. I think that's what I said. That's good. I believe that's what I said. And they're also good for like making your own essential oil blends if you like wipe down your counters or if you put it on your own skin. Like, it's I a like good idea. Ooh, what a good idea that is. Oils. What? 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 Uh, so here's this beautiful candle votive with the leopard print sculpture thing I'm gonna do. I had it at twelve. I'll mark it to eight. Let's get it out of my house. Eight dollars. If not, I'll just try eBay. But it's cute and it's glass and it's leopard print. And it's a sculpture, and I think it's very awesome and pretty, and you can bend all the things any which way you want. Okay, so there's that. Oh, oh. And, okay, I really want to keep this because a hippopotamus is my spirit animal, but I found this, and I couldn't leave him behind, and he's so cute. And Don Maserati already bought me a hippopotamus, so I can't not. I that can't is not. precious. It's my favorite oh my style. God. It's the old Japanese, like, green pottery look. Everything about it I love. Anyway, he's a hippopotamus. He got flowers, you know, manufacturing specs and stuff. But he's got no chips or cracks. He's in excellent vintage condition. And he is gonna be $25 because I'm obsessed and y'all know I evaluate things. <laughs> it is adorable. I was actually given permission to keep this, which doesn't happen very often. 
usually I have oh. everything. Okay. Is that my warm? Good morning, Fairy. Hey, Fairy. Good to see you. Okay. Then I have this great scarf. They sell pretty well. It's a higher end. I was saying the name wrong, but this is a panther. It's orange with panthers and H's. And the name the lady's name is Effie Panation. And I thought it was Ellie. And I was like, I don't I couldn't find it anyway. When I looked her up, they do pretty well. And this scarf's one of those elongated rectangle ones. And it needs to be $8. And that's my two. And I thank y'all. Scarves are really back in, y'all. Got the day everyone out. I got brave enough to wear one today myself. <laughs> if Heather was here, she'd probably tell me, take that out your hair, mama. That's okay. She's not here. <laughs> I told her it looks good, I Heather. <laughs> I appreciate it. I have this snowman bank. Does have his stopper. Is a Target uh, 2012. Actually, it says July 20. So it's his birthday, <laughs> <laughs> and he's got he's going to be seven dollars. So I think he's that awesome. And it's pretty good size. Let me tell you what size, what size he is. Let's see. Eight. He's about eight and a half. Almost nine inches tall. Okay. And then let's do a piece of clothing. Yo, I have so much clothing. I need to get rid of some extra small LuLaRoe. Okay, Lucid, you're extra small, but I don't know if you need the stress or not. Lularo extra small. Four dollars. This just goes below the knee. It's not all the way to the floor. I'm sorry. Did you say it, something? It's too, it's too big. The extra small Lularo. Oh, you little thing. I'm just jealous. No. It's got a very pretty print on it. These do run big too, because I can wear extra larges and know, and I'm every bit of a two X. So. You know, I still wear my other one. Yeah. Yeah, they run big. Then I have um, what I call a grim. Oh, that was my. Let I me. Mean, I'm just going on like I got. I forgot I did the snowman. You could have gone. I did the grandma. I probably would have noticed. She could have kept going. No, ma'am. They're watching. No, I forgot I done the snowman. Although, sorry. Quick, don't show me things I like because I might buy them and I don't have money <laughs> unnecessary household goods right now you know your credit's good with me uh, <laughs> i have zero credit you guys no credit well i bought no, a that ain't true. Got credit with me okay this is a half <laughs> yeah me too fair it's by primula primula and it has bells flourish do the apanuis that's the french side with loose leaf what tea does a half moon what's that mean half moon you see how it's got that half moon shape to it there oh on the oh, black part yeah oh cool so, i love my hot tea that's a filtration system and you can put your tea oh. there but that's awesome it also buds and there's one pack of that stuff in there still. So it's oh. going to be $6. It's in its box. I believe they've used it before. But, you know, I'll clean it and all that good stuff for you. And it's by Epica. And it's from Boca Raton, Florida, you guys. But it's made in China. That's a good price. That's a cool thing, too. I have a teapot, but I like that. Teapots are great. They are. Okay. And then I have this six dollar adorable, and I can't. I forgot to respond to Christy. Christy kept asking me if these were blackberries, but they're blue. But they could be blue blackberries if that's a thing. If you have like blue china and you're like, I want blackberries. Yeah. But anyway, it's super old. It's got lots of signs of aging. Um, it's got lots of crazing. Uh, 
I don't think this one has any chips. It has some like lumpy spots, but it's just an older piece and it has that big this right here is like where the glaze fell out. I don't know. I think it'd be cool. You could even use it outside as a little ashtray or something for your guests. And it's gonna be six dollars. Anybody's interested in this blue, amazing blue, blue and white china. And that's my two, the teapot and this blue and white china and a thank you guys. Both six dollars. Can keep up today. I Tell me to what? stop shopping with you and keep up. My brain's not in full, 100% gear. It's worse than normal. <laughs> I have, the, hey, good morning, Maria. Oh, bless your heart. Okay, I have what I call the grandma sweater. It is vintage. It's got a jewelry knitwear, 100%. Um, what does that say? Something acrylic. I can't, it's kind of washed out. But it is such a cute sweater. I was trying to see what the size is on here. I'm going to say it's large. I think I saw that before. It has the buttons. It has all of its buttons. It doesn't smell like a grandma. <laughs> Let me see if I can see a size. Machine washable, although I'd probably hand wash it. It has a size in the side of it or anything. Um, $4 for the sweater. I don't see it, but I'm pretty sure it's a large. Okay. Then I have another very vintage. I can remember people wearing these, and I'm saying very vintage. Oh, well. This is a silk blouse. Let's see if it's 100% silk. Nope, I'm wrong. 100% polyester, but it feels like silk. It looks like silk. It, it has those lines and the sparkle. This 1970 really wants their shirt back. It has the little pointy collars, the buttons. Uh, everything about this is 70 and it's $4. If you sell on eBay, this kind of stuff pretty much flies out the store. If I would list it, it would probably fly out. And that's another thing I wanted to mention, and it's $4 too. I wanted to mention that... Um, we both have eBay stores if you're interested in um, shopping. <clears throat> if you find anything at mine, you let me know and I'll do a live, you know, I'll show you live and, and mail it off here from. You won't have to go through eBay, in other words, if you find it. I don't if you want to go through eBay, that's fine also because you know, my prices are pretty Me once I see I list I something on eBay. That's it. It's sitting in its indexed category. Okay. Lucy, it's its own eBay, but go through eBay for hers. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. Here's this awesome green bottle. It's yeah, green. Mine are decent prices, too. Mine have outrageous prices, but people pay them. Oh, God. Um, and it's got a little unicorn made into the glass, a little seal there. It's hand blown, so the like, room around the top is different sizes. Got its pontil mark. Looks great with fairy lights in it. I shoved them in there, and I went to turn them off. They were burnt out. But anyway, I was asking twelve. How about we do eight? It'll be great for Christmas. It'd be great for unicorn collectors or bottle collectors or any such thing like that amazing so there's that and then i don't even know what to show anymore i still have this ballerina musical twisteroo and it's twelve dollars and it's signed simon Simonelli, Simonelli. They've got red shoes and all their fingers and toes, and they're super cute and they play music. And that's my two, and I thank you guys. Well. <laughs> 
<clears throat> okay, it did work. Struggle's real. All right, look away if you don't like clowns. I love clowns. I always have. This is a sweet, look at that little sweet face. How could you not just love that? And he's playing his little, I don't know, fiddle, violin, something. He has polka dot pants on. It's just adorable. There's nothing wrong with him. He's from the 1970s. Made in, let's see where he's made in, Taiwan. And there's some little bitty letters. He's going to be $3. So adorable. Did you say three? <laughs> three. Three dollars. Then I have another vintage blouse, size six. Now, this is 100% silk. It says it on it. And it has shoulder pads, which I always hated and always cut out, but <laughs> people love them now. I think I can show you better off of them. The hanger because it's not it's a size six it does still have its tags it's original tags from back in the day 100 percent silk it has an extra button and see it doesn't even have that little upc thing on here this is old but um it's a don caster it's a beautiful blouse this would have been a more expensive one back in the day um Dry clean me and have a little zipper in the back. Let me make sure. Yeah, it still works. It's a little button in the back. This is a really fancy. Oh, it has three in the back. Has a little collar, turn down collar, like a mock turtleneck, but it turns down. Very pretty. Four dollars. New with tag 1970 blouse. <laughs> That's my two, right? Yeah, the clown and the blouse. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay, so I still have this Fenton dish. It looks like a snowflake. It's white, goes great for Halloween with your orange and white or black and white theme, or Christmas with your white. Or white's good with everything. It's classic color. It's hobnaily, it's frilly. It's it's a shallow little like candy dish bowl. Look great with some glass candies in there. By the way, I know where to get some. And this is $10. And this will probably be the last time I'm showing this one. He's probably been overshown as well. It's a great deal for a piece of Fenton. And uh, thank you. Oh, that's one. And this. And then I have this purple stone. I believe it's amethyst. It's a giant egg. He's big. And I'm asking 25 for them. If anyone's interested in that, good price for a stone this size. And that's my two. And I thank you guys. You almost tricked me thinking that was your two men again. <laughs> I have this little vintage can with the like old world Santa and the little children probably out caroling or something. Looks like they have some sticks or maybe some instruments. I'm not sure. More Santas, some people. It's going to be $3. It does have some patina on the back, but the inside is clean. Filled up. $3 for the can. Then I have this box right here. It's a Christmas Santa box. It's just like a little cardboard box, but inside it, it has four snowmen. I'm going to ask seven for it. You have the case and the four snowmen. They all look to be in very good condition. They're ornaments for your tree. And one with a broom, one with a birdhouse. Uh, let's see what the other one is. This one has like a string of like happy holiday banner. And then one more has, what does it have? Oh, it has the Christmas tree. And then on the bottom, he has Christmas trees. Another one has like hearts and leaves and snow. So you get all four of these snowmen, their noses and all that's really good still. I know a lot of times that's what gets chipped first. And then you get this little box to keep them in. A nice little box. Um, 
And for seven dollars, you can have the box and the four snowmen that come in the box. I gotta figure out what they are. Certain ones go in certain little places. So I gotta figure that out. So that was my check because I showed the can. Listen, I'll put you back up. Thank y'all. Hey, I'm going to try to switch gears. Maybe somebody needs some jewelry in their life. Um, there you go. Let's see. These two orange necklaces have both intertwined into each other. They think they're cousins. And I'm trying to just do this little maneuver right here. Oh, it's this hook. It says, no, I'll never let go. Okay, so this, I believe, is my West Germany piece. Yes, it's a Western Germany piece. It is a orange necklace, and it's got acrylic beads and an old-style clasp. And it's very pretty. It's lightweight, and it's got that on the back of the West Germany um, clasp. It's going to be $5 for this vintage necklace. If anybody's interested in that. And then... Ooh, how about the other orange necklace? It's giant. It's seed bead. It has two layers. And it's a pretty good quality seed bead necklace. Um, if you like them chunky pieces or your art gear... It's a good summertime color as well. And this is going to be $5 for the double chunky stranded seed bead necklace. And that is my two. And I thank you guys. Beautiful jewelry. Okay, I have um, some books here. The first one says it's a step two, step into reading Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Time travels trouble. And on the back here, it explains that this is preschool to grade one reading. And the books are $1. And it's in very, very good condition. It's in like new condition, actually. It's cute. Okay, $1 for that one. Then I have step three, uh, Disney's Pixar Inside Out, Journey into the Mind. And it says, uh, step three is grade one to three, first to third grade. And it also is in very good condition. One dollar. Lisa Maria's got a message for you there. Okay, so your choice of books for one dollar. Then I'll show this Reba. Got her upside down. It's um, a cassette tape, and I have two dollars on it. And it has uh, the song "Fancy" and I have a bunch of songs. I was recognizing them yesterday. I know, I know fa pretty much everybody knows "Fancy," so and it's two dollars. That's my two or three or more. Thank oh. you all. Um, so here's another vintage necklace and it's made out of some type of like seed I think or they could just be funny shaped beads I'm not really sure it's more like a choker piece kind of tribal it's not exactly a choker it's like collarbone length and it's pretty I like the look of it it almost looks like it'd be bone or something and it's going to be $5 as well. It's got its vintage barrel class. Really neat piece. Oh, no problem. Um, no problem, Maria. Yeah, no. She just doesn't come around here too often. Our, our um, schedules might not sync up. And I just broke another necklace. Yay. Yay. Okay. And then I have this one, and it's like an orangey black necklace. I had a whole lot of this style of jewelry together. And if I could just do the lobster clasp here. Okay, so it's got these like 
faux amber beads and these little faux metal beads and it's black it's an acrylic necklace lobster claw clasp it is very pretty um and it's the way it's strung makes me believe it's vintage because it's got that old rope um on there and some twisty style beads again it's a shorter length piece overall really pretty and it's going to be three dollars if anybody's interested in that and that is my two. Necklace one. I try to remember to turn my air off and I forget sometimes. Just thought about it. Sorry if it was making a racket. I have this brass ashtray. It has pretty little decor on it. I marked it to three dollars. I had it for five and I marked it to three. It's a little round. It could be a trinket, key holder, whatever. By your door, it'd be really nice to throw keys in because it wouldn't hurt it. Three dollars for that. Then I have a Let It Snow mug. And I have two dollars on mugs. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> and that's my two. Thank y'all. And we're going to just go for an hour today because we're going to go with Stephanie tonight. Yes. So we don't want to wear y'all out. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I forgot to mention that earlier. Hey, Dawn. Which Welcome. Dawn? Dawn's Good to see channel. you. Dawn's channel. Dawn's channel. Yeah, we got two Dawns. I had to remember to say the last part I forgot. Thank y'all all for coming. The other Dawn's my Maserati. Oh, yeah. I, I traveled over to Dawn's channel the other day. She's sweet. Y'all should go over there and check her out. Sorry, yes. Dawn. Sometimes I lose my mirrors and forget my train of thought. But y'all should definitely check her out. She's Absolutely. And any of y'all that have your um, channels, leave your link in the, if you can't leave it here, leave it down below in the, when, you know, after this is over, you can go down in the comments and leave it. You're welcome to do that. Please do. Okay. So I have another vintage choker piece. It's got a little, um, hooking eye, I mean, lobster claw class, I guess the round ones can be called that too. And it's really pretty. It's acrylic, but it's made to look like little, you know, cut stone pieces. And it's three dollars if anybody's interested. Good morning, Dawn's channel. Okay, and what else is in this box? I have so many jewels. I have boxes on boxes of jewels. I just don't even know what to do with anymore. Oh. Maybe tonight I can do like a ring cell. Jeez, um, did I buy, did I just grab the wrong box today? This might be like a craftier box. Anyway, here's the question. I bragged about our sunshine too quick. It's raining. Oh yeah, girl. I felt all night. It's coming. It is coming. It hasn't not rained every day here. Hey, Patty Paws. Hey, darling. So this is a really cool bracelet that needs to be restrung. It's one of those stretchy ones, but all the beads are made to look real. So it looks like you have rose quartz, adventuring, and amethyst on it. But they're really just acrylic. But it is a nice filling um, bracelet that do have the little end caps on the beads. And then these little metal pieces. Or you can use it as an anglet and it might fit right. Who knows? Anyway, $2. Fun stuff. And that is my two, the white choker for three, or this needs to be your strung bracelet for two. And a thank you, guys. Thank you. I have a tin roof, and boy, when it rains, it's hard. It's loud in here. A strand of um, metal strand of little angels. And it's about seven inches. You can make a bracelet out of it very easily. Or you can make, you know, earrings or other things out of it. It's new on the little tag here. 
And I'm going to ask $3 for the angels. They're so sweet. Okay. And then next I have this little lead crystal candle holder. Motive. I have a little light in it. You can see what it looks like without the light. I have $3 on it. Okay, I have the little angels candle. Thank y'all. Oh, Stephanie, um, please clarify what you want. I'm sorry, I did both of them for three. I shouldn't have. Thank you. I think it's probably this. But, oh. oh, angels probably, maybe. I don't know. Let her clarify. <laughs> hey, everyone. Okay, I have a bunch of <laughs> okay, I have a bunch of earrings. Um, so here's a pair, and they're hoops. And depending on which way you want to wear them, they could be purple or blue. So let's say you want to face the purple outwards. It's that shade of purple, and then it's blue on the inside. And, and they have the little lever back things to keep it in your ear and their gold tone on the outside pretty darn pretty darn cool and they're enamel um the coloring they're gonna be three dollars for the pair and so that's the thank you dawn for doing that and then Oh, I thought I had an opposite different color pair, but that's okay. I also have this thing for any artists out there in the world. It's a plastic brooch, but I think it's cool as crap. I think this could have belonged to Bob Ross once upon a time. Imagination's great. We could put a happy little tree here, too. And it's got a little, just a little normal back with a little... You know, almost like a safety pin, but not. And it's going to be $3 for it's this so palette. And you can wear it and think of Bob Ross. And so that's my two. I can't believe I'm letting that brooch sit there for somebody else. I'm trying to share and be nice. <laughs> I had these vintage, uh, we all had blue bow geese back in the early 90s, maybe late 80s, early 90s. I had my whole kitchen in them. This is the Christmas placemat, vinyl placemats. There are, I think six, yeah, six of them for $5. Okay. And that's it. Let me see what can I show next. Let me show another little Christmas. This is a day after Christmas mug. December 26th, Santa's resting in his chair with his feet up by the fireplace. He's so glad it's over with. And it's got a little coin in it. And the little mug is $3. So the little place six placemats for five or three for the little December 26th mug. Thank you. Okay, I still have these pair of lamps. They're matching bedside lamps. And they are wired. I don't know how old the wiring is, but they just need shades and bulbs. And they're in perfect condition. Paint's in perfect condition. No chips or cracks. Beautiful pieces if you're into that, like, colonial French look. It's, um... Gonna be fifty for the pair, and you'll be able to find these on eBay if you decide to change your mind later. And again, they're just pretty little um bell and her bow. And then I have hey Cindy twin. Hey Cindy, how are you, girl? And y'all go subscribe to Cindy Thrifting again, as well as Maria, the California Thrifter, and Dawn. 
and Stephanie. Right. Everybody. And Stephanie. Um, Dawn's leaving some links, so y'all um can subscribe to them. Oh, and Patty Paws. And this is a stone mini vase. I say mini, it's like this big. It's not like tea tiny. And it's got a carving in it. So it's either going to be a dyed soapstone or a black onyx. I'm not too sure which one because they do have the it's little very white um, specks in there. It is gorgeous. And it's going to be $12. And you don't get this much stone for $12 very often. But, you know, for you guys, special price. So there's that. And I don't know. Here's this green candle votive. It's still green. It's still emerald tone. It's still three dollars. It's pretty. Um, it's beautiful. Yeah. Those little votives are nice, especially if you got little, you know, things to put them in, mm -hmm. or they can be singular. I think this is an older one, but I can't be certain. Oh, it looks like it. That heavier, thicker glass. It looks like it. Yeah. It's three dollars. It's vintage. It's I'm almost positive it is. Pretty emerald green. If anybody's into that, mm -hmm. and that is my two. That two, okay. Yeah, I did. My computer's so slow, and I'm slow, and so sorry. Appreciate y'all being patient. He's not I have these cameo durable yes, I am China <laughs> cameo durable China plates. And as y'all may have heard the story already, I have at least a hundred of them or more. Uh, I'm selling them a dollar a plate. They're restaurant quality plates. They some of them do sell for fifteen dollars online. I looked them up. And I did list a few online, but, you know, we have 300. My daughter's going to take about 150 of them. So I have plenty. You having a big party or you just want some china in your cabinet that will last? Dollar a plate. Thank you for that one. Let me show you one more thing. Then I have this beautiful, I think it's beautiful, New Orleans brand uh, pitcher and bowl set. Love that. I had it for 10. I'm going to go to eight. That's about as slow as I can go on this set. I'll just have to keep it, which won't hurt my feelings. But anyway, if you, I would love for someone to love it. it does have the New Orleans brand stickers on both pieces. It has all the gold um, trim. I mean, it's still in very, very, very good um, condition. And I did see on one of the videos, um, someone was showing an antique store that they only had this piece. They were missing the picture. So here you've got both pieces. So there you go. That's my two. And here is Lucy back. Thank y'all. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna show one more thing and then we're almost to random recap time. Yeah, we are. Yes, okay. ma'am. So yes. I have these beautiful blue plates. And um, this is Peter's Fish of Finger, the Drought of Fishes. And so here's Jesus. And this is my interpretation of the story that was told by me from someone, someone much wiser. And it's from 1977. And Jesus is in the boat with these dudes. And they pull up a net. And they're like, we've got some fish. And Jesus is like, throw the net back. And so they listen to Jesus and they throw the net back. And when they pull the net in, they have tons and tons of fishes for all the people during the drought of fishes. And this plate is from Norway, Porskland, Porsche Norway. And it's got all this writing on the back. It's got an old rusty plate hanger in it. And it says, Julin 1977. And... That's going to be $6. It's really pretty. And it's nice. And then I've got this one, which is probably the most amazing. Um, like Royal Cope. Is this Copenhagen? Yeah, this is Copenhagen. 
um, plate I've ever found. It's Hans Christian Andersen, and he's sitting out in the King's Garden. Of course, he's a statue, and it's all snowy. And he made all the great fairy tales growing up. He made all the Disney movies you've seen. He wrote the stories for um, all the fables. I mean, I know there's um, those people that make the grins. Hans Christian Andersen's where it's at. And there is a highly recommend a movie from, I believe, the 1960s or 70s. It was probably just in the beginning of colored film. And it's about Hans Christian Andersen. And I just loved it. And you should show it to your kids, too. And this plate is going to be $8 if anybody's interested. And I thank you for listening to my really long story about Hans Christian Andersen and this blue Copenhagen plate. Thank you. I love listening to the stories. That's half the fun. Okay, I have the um, test for as eight plus, and it is at two Christmas ornaments and the markers. Do it yourself set. Make your own designs with your for your ornaments for your Christmas ornaments. It says draw with the markers and then let it dry. Uh, you can wipe it off with a tissue before it dries. Hand wash only. The ornaments, I guess. And it's going to be $3. You have a person. Could be a grown-up, I get it. Whoever likes to make their own little crafts, that'd be cool. Then next, I have these um, Italy, made in Italy bowls. They're very nice pasta bowls. Or chili bowls or whatever you want to make to serve in them. They're very nice size bowls. I had five of these on, but I'll do both of them for five today. To try to get them to the forever home. Yes, they'll be very nice pasta bowls. And they still have their made in Italy stickers on them. They're still, you know, they're new. So, my two. Lisa, you can do a recap or you can keep however you want to do it. I'm ready to recap. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. These necklaces are all three dollars choice. We'll call this one orange. It's a double stranded well, I lie. It's like a bajillion stranded, but it's a your chonkers with a bunch of seed beads. This is just an acrylic piece, the like amber tone on black. It's got a little little um, hook on there for you to use as a choker. This is the little white one and it's cut to look like stone. It's also acrylic. And this one feels like either stones or like, I don't know, seeds or something they made into a necklace. It's really neat. It's got an old vintage barrel clasp. All three dollars. Just let me know by the color which one you would like. And then I had this box and it's homemade. It's got very art um, deco hinges on there. I don't know if y'all can see all the lines running through there, but it's neat. It obviously used to have a key and it was, um, I guess, misplaced <coughs> over here. And so it's still got its locking mechanism, but it doesn't lock. It's a beautiful box, beautifully made. $15. Looks like Cypress, I think. But it doesn't smell like... I don't know. I think it is Cypress. Then I had this. <laughs> My favorite piece of pottery ever. $25. Hip. Hippopotamus. And he's gorgeous. I love and that. I'm probably never find one like this again. And if he doesn't sell right now, I'll probably hoard him. Just to be honest. Okay. Then I had this purple egg, $25. It's heavy. It's probably amethyst, but I don't want to lie to people, so I just call it the purple egg. We've got this $3 emerald green candle votive, if you're interested. He holds the purple egg great. And then it's like Mardi Gras. Um, I had this Fenton bowl for $10. It's hobnail, ruffled edge. Looks like a snowflake. Great for Christmas in July. Great for Halloween if you do your black and white nightmare before Christmas theme. Um, and it's not Mark Fenton anywhere, but I'm pretty 100% sure 
well, 99.99999% sure it's Fenton, and it's $10. And then I just had some older earrings. I had the purple on blue enamel earrings. They're like hoops with the gold accents. I had my Bob Ross brooch for $3. It has nothing to do with Bob Ross. It just has to do with painting. It's simple. It's plastic. It's all of 1993. So we'll backdoor that with Lisa Frank's keychain. And I'll probably still this and hoard it today too. It's $4 if anybody's interested. Looks like maybe there's some paint loss on the tip of this dolphin um, surfboard. But the most important part to me is this piece here. I love it. I just broke off the pull down snap, so I'm highly disappointed in myself. And, oh, the $50 matching pair of lamps. Those are here. And then I had the leopard print candle votive sculpture. It was 12, marked it down to eight. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It could go with any decor. I said the word decor. And then this stone carved boss and it is twelve dollars boss and it is twelve dollars oh wait and then the ballerina thing oh, wait. Is and, then it is. and that's everything yeah, i love that too you sure yeah i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> oh, get over there there i am okay i have the clown for three dollars Uh, let me turn the mic on this. I have the little crystal candle holder, three. Then I have the hen on nest for 10. And a one, it's a thick glass. No, I'm going to have to look up when I get off of here who made the Avon stuff. Was it Westmoreland exclusively for Avon? I wanted to say it was Westmoreland, but I could not. I, I know. I can't find it. I don't know. Today, but I think so. If you want the Reba cassette, I'll do a dollar on her. And I had the two books, dollar each. Had my bowls, two for five. Let it snow mug, two dollars. Three on my brass little trinket tray. I may end up putting by my front door if I don't sell it. <laughs> I like it. I had the oil and vinegar or dressing with um, glass. You know, you can tell it's older with this, the glass stopper and all. Yeah. And um five dollars. I can't remember what did I say on that. The little ornament kit that you make yourself. That was three. Oh, the angel strand. Let me not sell that again. I had this box with the four snowmen ornaments, all like new. Um, I don't remember what I said, but I'll, I'll do five. That makes it be a dollar, um, you know, for the box and a dollar each for the little snowman. So five dollars. Oh, and I had this little thing. $3 for the little flocked Santa boot. And I do believe, other than the clothes, and I won't go back over them. I believe that was everything. Y'all, we're going to be on Stephanie's uh, Thrifting Adventures. The link's in uh, the chat. Don't know sweet enough to put all that in for us. Oh, let me put, oh, let me make it back big. Sorry. Sorry, listen. Hold on. No, uh, you don't want to be back big. <laughs> we just thank y'all so, so much for supporting us and coming and showing up just to visit us. Your presence is always appreciated. Um, we just enjoy the mornings. Gives me something to have to get some clothes on for. <laughs> and I love y'all. And I guess that's all. Come back and watch us tonight. We love Have a great day. Lucy, right, you got something to say? Prayers for Hannah. Thank you. Thank, right. thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye, y'all.
See you tonight, Stephanie. See you tonight. Bye-bye. See you on Thrifty Night Ventures.